Hey YouTube, this is Brian here. I'm gonna be doing a top ten countdown, or sorry, a top five countdown. That is, of my favorite movies in no particular order. I wanted to pare it down to a shorter list this time, so I have time uh, within YouTube's crappy um, time limit thing for uh, uh, unverified accounts and all that bullshit. Um, anyways, I wanted to keep the time limit down so I actually have time to talk about everything in depth. Um, I'll mention a couple of honorable mentions there at the end. Uh, and let's just get into it. Number one is going to be Forrest Gump. Uh, it's one of the highest grossing movies of all time. Uh, starring Tom Hanks. And uh, as a history major, I think it's pretty fun uh, because they paint Forrest into various scenes throughout American history. And um, it, it just, uh, it, it's a neat little Easter egg to see like him there behind the Kennedy assassination and all this crazy shit happening. They did a great job with the special effects there. And I know it's not all completely historically accurate. Some uh, reviewers uh, gave the movie a hard time over its historical accuracy or whatever, but uh, I, I just tried to have fun and sit down and enjoy it. It has a great soundtrack also. It's one of those movies that you can frankly watch a million times. Uh, number two on my list is The Wrestler. This uh, movie is starring Mickey Rourke. He had a great comeback here, I think. It is probably the best performance of his career, arguably. Uh, you feel legitimately bad for the character he plays as the movie goes on. He just can't catch a break. And props to the filmmakers for using actual wrestlers. Like, I think there's some dudes from CZW in this movie um, in many scenes. Uh, it's a great portrayal of the wrestling industry behind the scenes. And you get a sense of what these guys go through as human beings, not just as entertainers. And especially the dudes who don't have those big time guaranteed like uh, uh, sports contracts like the Triple H or Undertaker those dudes are the big time guaranteed sports contracts um, where they're making several million a year probably or at least a couple hundred thousand I would bet uh, next up on my list is Ferris Bueller's Day Off uh, this is probably I think Matthew Broderick's best movie and arguably he plays the idealized hero who's able to seemingly get away with everything on that one day where he ditches school. He's got uh, a best friend. He's got a hot girlfriend. He's got everything. And he's able to, like I said, get away with everything. And, and the principal and his bitchy sister, they're just not able to catch him, you know? it's Who wouldn't want to be this guy if you had the chance to for just a day? Uh, this is a John Hughes classic from the 80s. Uh, it used a lot of innovative filming techniques like breaking the fourth wall and uh, this movie is I think historically significant and I'm not the only one who thinks that I think this movie has been deemed historically significant um, it, it's just a classic you know uh, the next movie on my list is back to the future part one uh, as I mentioned above, I'm a history major, so the idea of him traveling through time is pretty cool, and the uh, historical Easter eggs only added to the rewatchability for me. Uh, forget any historical inaccuracies, this is a fun walk through the last couple of decades of American history, and I love Michael J. Fox, and I miss him. Uh, he, he's a great actor, and he, he was so talented. You know, I know he's still alive, but it's kind of sad that he, he can't act anymore. Uh, it's very sad, what am I saying? Uh, the next uh, entry onto my list is Field of Dreams, uh, it's starring Kevin Costner. Uh, it's based on the lifetime of an actual uh, baseball player uh, named Archibald Moonlight Graham, who... Uh, was nicknamed Moonlight because he only, I think, had uh, one game appearance in his whole career. And uh, this movie was cool for me because I saw it as a kid and it motivated me to get uh, deeper into baseball and into baseball stats uh, uh, because I didn't know that there was older time players from like the 1800s and the early 1920s and shit. 
and uh, those dead ball era baseball players from like 1920 to 1925. Uh, I mean, I'd heard of like Babe Ruth and stuff, but uh, I really got introduced to the depth of the sport, I think, because this movie taught me about how far back that baseball really went, you know, uh, time-wise. I didn't know that there was baseball players from all the way back then. And I know this is a creative interpretation of the, of a real man's uh, life story and of a, I think there was a book that this uh, movie is based on. I, It might be also named Field of Dreams, but I forget. Anyways, there's a lot of classic memorable quotes from this movie, uh, such as, if you build it, he will come. I think everyone's probably heard that one somewhere, even if you've never heard of the movie. And this is probably, resultingly, my favorite baseball movie. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is my list. Uh, post your own below or make your own video if you want to. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'm out.